hello guys um, this would be a video for tutorials on conditional statements so uh, condition मतलब क्या समझते हैं हम लोग uh, condition मतलब uh, कोई भी एक point हुआ एक decision में कि समझो कि मेरा ये एक constraint है and for that constraint what we can do uh, you know uh, maybe in, uh, maybe it leads to you know a path of uh, two way decision suppose like uh, you are in a um, supermarket say right and then you need to buy uh, a biscuit packet okay and uh, there are two biscuit packets or two variants of biscuit packets okay and uh, you can buy one of 10 rupees and one of 20 rupees then you just check you know uh, like uh, what uh, what how much do you have in budget okay suppose you have you know 15 rupees so your budget is no more than 10 rupees okay like you cannot buy anything more than 10 rupees biscuit packet right so you go for the 10 rupees biscuit packet okay so uh, the constraint here was uh, you know the budget of uh, you like well, how much did you have in your pocket right so that would be a condition on what you buy right so that pretty much explains what a condition is right and uh, then uh, like what is the need of it in a code right so um, conditions can be used you know like uh, for decision making as it says like for decision making in coding process right without conditional statements you know like every code would be work, working the same uh, like uh, suppose uh, say that biscuit packet code right uh, if you have uh, now suppose if you have a budget of you know 15 rupees now and you set it a code right and uh, you just uh, ask uh, like there is no way of knowing how in what uh, what packet of biscuit you're gonna buy right so what we do we use a condition uh, in this tutorial we are gonna use a, a sample code or sample programming question like uh, about uh, you know a few students who are gonna you know who are having their exams and uh, what they have to do is uh, they have to score you know 40 to pass more or more than 40 to pass right uh, so more than getting more than 40 is a condition out here okay and um, also also if they score less than 40 and this uh, but they score greater than 30 okay so they get a warning out okay you like you know do you have to you know get your things right right and but if they get less than 30 they just fail okay so uh, first we will walk towards this program uh, through what we learned right uh, now like following this slide right so let's go and see what conditions or what conditional operators or what conditional keywords we need today. So before learning that also we need to learn how to implement a condition okay. So uh, what does implementing a condition means like implementing a condition means uh, like uh, as humans we can you know just compare thing okay, like okay I have uh, 15 rupees so I can buy 10 rupees. Now how did you deduce to, deduce to that position that you uh, you have to buy you know a 10 rupees biscuit packet right so like you would have like also thought that okay I can get 20 rupees biscuit packet by persuading them but that's not the case right so what we have to do we have to just check uh, like uh, whether uh, the price of the biscuit packet we are gonna approach for is less than greater than or equal to or less than equal to or uh, maybe you know not equal to like that that just uh, defines uh, what are relational operators right so um, relational operators is uh, you know just helps in getting out the true and false values or true and false outcomes uh, which are needed to you know um, check conditions like if it is true then the condition you know we can uh, proceed with a former condition or if it is false then we can you know get to uh, the next uh, next outcome or the next result we can get out of that uh, condition right so uh, just memorize or you know just uh, go through this uh, relational operators they are generally uh, all of them maybe uh, and also there are more but they are you know pretty uh, much not used generally so uh, these are the things like uh, greater than function if the uh, if the you know left hand operand is um, uh, greater than the right hand operand then it returns a false value right and uh, and at this point i just also you know need to tell you that uh, whatever is in the left side uh, sub, uh, what we say is a LHS, right? Uh, whatever is a, uh, whatever is in the LHS, it gets compared upon uh, by whatever is in in the RHS. Okay, so uh, these two are you know pretty uh, fixed constraints for all of them. 
uh, right uh, so uh, these two are the fixed constants and what we use between them is uh, a conditional operator uh, and what conditional operators are we are just learning now so some of them are greater than less than it just you know checks whether the LHS is less than the RHS or not okay mm, uh, greater than or equal to it just checks key uh, if the upper left hand operator is you know greater than or equal to uh, the operator or not uh, and also uh, this greater than and less than excludes the you know left hand operator like suppose here suppose here the condition was 10 10 is greater than 10 or not uh, okay so uh, the condition the outcome here would be a false one because uh, this uh, this operand or this mm, this what to say uh, this uh, yeah this operand just checks whether uh, this lhs is from 0 to 9 or not so we can generalize it as um, we can generalize it as uh, like uh, the outcome uh, the outcomes which this condition would be true for is uh, anything uh, the lhs uh, for 0 to 9 right and all same goes for this uh, less than statement but this greater than and less than or uh, equal to sorry so if it does not rain today i would go to college right so uh, what is the condition out here the condition uh, is like if it does not rain right so if uh, so similarly in our you know uh, implementation code we have to check if the marks is greater than 40 then only the student passes right uh, the if condition uh, is true only if this condition uh, like if condition is true if this condition is true right and if this condition is true then and then only it gets into this if body if code body okay so it's pretty simple now what if this if uh, like this condition gets false it just you know ignores this body of code and comes to the next line to it okay now suppose uh, like we have to check also uh, if uh, the student has scored greater than 30 or not then he would get a simple warning right uh, so uh, how do we do that or you know like first let us check key, uh, if just you know greater than 40 or not okay so we would just you know uh, do like suppose what would you see in a simple life if it rains then i will go to the college else um, i would just sleep right else this else is also a condition here right think of your coding as a simple life problem right so that would sort it out so here it comes the else thing so uh, sometimes when uh, what i just said right that else is just a condition if the true uh, if the if condition is uh, not true then it would get executed like suppose the marks here uh, suppose the student has scored 35 right so it is this condition is false out here right so what it would do it would jump to the else statement and print fail let take a hypothetical condition right like if a student scored less than 40 he just fails right so this is just the else thing now suppose what we have to see we have to also check that if now like let's get to the main code that if the student you know scores greater than 30 or not then he would just get a warning right so what you have to do we have to implement one more condition out here that if the student has scored greater than 30 or not otherwise everyone is gonna fail right anyone scoring less than 40 right so to do that we can uh, like simply you know uh, make a code like this that if this is a false condition and then it comes to this else part right and this else part also has a condition that if the student has scored greater than 30 or not then it print just prints a warning and again if this is also a false condition then and then only it gets to this else part right so uh, like we can see our code has taken its shape right so uh, this is you know just a another level of uh, condition making right now what if i say like this uh, like this uh, thing looks messy right like this brace then this brace closes then again this brace opens this brace again then opens in another if condition right so this is you know difficult to read maybe or you know that, that just doesn't look good right so uh, this is another way of writing that is a you know else if ladder so uh, what a else if ladder does is um, suppose uh, like this thing that uh, if the student has uh, scored greater than 40 if not then you know just he checks that if it's less than 40 and if it's less than 40 then it just checks like obviously it's a less than 40 i don't know why i wrote this code but 
Yeah, let, let's just do it, okay? Like, if the student has scored less than 40, if less than 40, then you know, it checks, like, if a scored greater than 30 or not. Then also, like, it prints a warning, else it prints a fail, right? But, like, uh, suppose uh, we had to write this part of code just because, you know, uh, like, suppose there was a condition that the student has scored 41, right? So, and, uh, like, wait. Let me do it this way, okay. Suppose this was a condition that if 40, okay, if greater than 40, right, and also they were, and just we just write into the else if part, else if part that the student has, uh, sorry, uh, the student has scored, you know, uh, if the student marks is greater than 30 or not, right. So, and uh, suppose the student has, you know, scored 41, right. So it would be true for this condition also, and also it would be true for this condition, right? Uh, so to avoid that, you know, we wrote this part of code that the, if the max is less than 40, then on, then only it gets into this part, right? But what if I wanted to say that you know write this part of code in a single piece of line? So what would you do? We uh, like there is uh, you know a part of coding that uh, you can use that is called you know boolean operators okay so what is a boolean operator a boolean operator is nothing but you know it takes two different type of condition and merges them into a single part and uh, it also again applies you know a part of um, condition for it like uh, there are different boolean conditions like and or not which we are looking at now like suppose uh, like let's look into the and first because it's pretty important right so what the AND would do, like suppose uh, the condition would be like if the student has scored greater than 30 but the student has scored less than 40 marks, suppose marks is M, right? Uh, so this, like, this is a mathematical notation, right? So we cannot use mathematical notation, right? So what we would have to write, we have to just write like if the student has scored marks is less than 40 and the marks is greater than the marks is greater than 30 and this would solve the problem what it would do if and if only this statement is true and if and if only this statement is true then and then only this whole statement will return a true value okay so uh, so the AND sorts out, you know, the two lines of code, right? So this is the work of an AND operator. But suppose, uh, what if, you know, uh, like I used an here as an OR operator. An OR operator, right? So what is an OR operator now? Let's go and see, like, suppose the student, uh, like we had a condition. Sorry, sorry. Suppose we had a condition that Suppose we had a condition that, uh, let's say, um, if the student has scored 40 or if the student has uh, scored 30, just give out the names, right? So we have two distinct conditions that if 40 also, if 30 also, right? So we can just check that M is you know greater than 40 or M is less greater than 30, right? and you know we use a or operator this is you know just a notation of or operator in c language as we are doing this in c so what we uh, what this would do is if and if only this part or this part like you know if this is true or this is true if or this is true this is false this would the function would return you know a true value like this function only needs one of its condition to be true rather than and which needed you know both of them to be true this just needs only one of them to be true right so uh, this is pretty much the or statement now and uh, inverter thing it's just an inverter operator right like if the uh, answer is uh, if the condition is true then it returns a false and if the 
condition is false, then it has a true value. Then just check it out. Then the not operator accepts only one, and if the input is true, it returns false, and if the input is false, then it returns true. It's as simple as that. But I don't think anyone uses uh, you know not operator, so you know I will just ignore it because I also don't like to you know use this not operator. It is you know just uh, makes debugging very difficult. Okay. So I would say don't use this not operator. Just find another way to do that code. Okay. So uh, see uh, now you know implementing what we just learned the boolean operator. And sorry, like we see here that the two lines of code is just you know converted into one, and this code looks pretty simple, right? So now let's uh, do the implementation of the code or uh, until what we learned in that the code we were writing right so uh, let's go so here we are at our VS code okay uh, and uh, as always you know we included a cone you and hash stdio just ignore the squiggles it's uh, some variable thing of mine it's not a problem okay so now let's do the code okay so what we need to do we need to accept a max right so we will uh, make a integer for max in marks okay. now uh, you know let's ask the teacher that enter marks of the student student okay then what we need to do we need to just take input for the marks Wait. so we just take input how we take input you all know Right. and then then what we do then we just need we need to check if the student has passed if greater than 40 if the student have uh, you know uh, got you know less than 30 fail and if it he has scored between 40 and 40 also we need to check you know the if the marks is greater than 50 or not then it would just you know give an error that a valid input Maybe we can do that. Uh, yeah, we will do that. Okay. If suppose like we do that first. Okay. Like suppose uh, if marks greater than 50. Like I am not including 50 because you know what this would do. This would check if the marks is if the marks is you know greater than 51. It would not include 50 in it. Right. What I said right now. Then print f. Uh, invalid marks okay oh we can also input uh, another thing like just you know to implement everything we have learned that marks is greater than 50 and uh, marks is greater than or equal to 0 right no 0 someone may score 0 <laughs> I'm not seeing but yeah or uh, marks is uh, less than zero sorry right so what this would do this would exclude you know all the negative integers it would just check from zero and up right and i remove the braces because uh, if global uh, if global block is you know until the first line of it like the just the next line and you know if i write something out here that uh, like suppose a print f i uh, print f high this would just you know print as default like this uh, this statement like this statement uh, sorry this if has its global block up until this like if you you know give braces out here like you know if you include a brace out here and uh, or do not include a brace out here it's uh, of you know pretty much the same use so uh, I would say like don't use brace for you know a single line uh, body of code because uh, you know it's just it you know it's your achievement if you can do a code in a small bit of lines right so that's one thing and now you know let's get into the main conditions that if marks is greater than 40 right if marks is greater than 40 okay 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 we also need to do a thing do we do it yeah, do it.
cart so you know let's get into the coding part of it so what we need to do we need to you know make a int value for marks we take a int value we rather not take a float value okay and also you know ask for input right. sorry what printf printf and uh, marks right and you know just to make the code look better nothing else scan f then you know this ask me for the input right and marks right. and then what we do we just you know get into the conditioning part right so uh, at first we have to just check if marks marks is you know less than 50 why am i doing this is because and marks is greater than 40 right so why did i do this part greater than 50 because we don't want like the total marks is 50 right so we don't want anything else than an input of 50 marks right so it would just ignore the part ignore the part right so uh, okay so if it's greater than 40 right so what this part would do this part would check if the marks is anywhere between 41 to 50 or not if marks is and also we need to do this part if marks is less than or equal to 50 okay we just you know increase uh, like check up to 41 to 50 okay at this point then what was our code we have to you know just print printf passed right now we have to check if the marks is in between 40 or 31 or not right so what we have to do simple we have to Marks is I'm not doing this right. Oh shit, I'm not doing this right. I'm really sorry. I'm not okay. Uh, 40 and and marks is is uh, greater than 30 or not, right? So what we print? Printf. Printf. What to do? Printf. We say it's a warning for the student. Warning. Okay. And uh, oh, sorry. What we are doing here is else if we are using else if. Else if, right? and also we have to use uh, one more else if uh, because we'll see it later like we have to check if the marks is equal to 30 or less than so again i'm doing the same mistake less than or equal to 30 and sorry just python things <laughs> marks is you know greater than or equal to zero or not why we just have to check from zero to 30 okay if it's anywhere between zero to 30 then the student fails right but you would ask that this was just a you know doom condition right so why would you do this because we have we have to we are checking here that if the input here is you know greater than 50 or not so what we need to do we need to also say that it's an invalid input else printf invalid input yeah i like to write invalid in that way it's just my style okay so i think our code is ready at this point right so we just go and run our code. What out here? Let's see. So here, like uh, it is asking for marks. So suppose we our student is very nice. He scored 49. 
see our student passed now you know we can give another thing suppose our student is you know average type so yeah he gets a warning out because he scored 35 right now uh, let's check suppose our student is very poor you know he cannot cope up with studies at this point because it's quarantine time right so suppose he scored 15 it's a good marks like it right though so i'm sorry but he fails now let's check suppose the teacher is out of mood and he you know just presses wrong buttons right he is he instead of giving 49 he gave 59 so it's an invalid input right so uh pretty much you know we used all the things we learned right so what would we learned we learned here that uh, if condition then we used the else then we thought that the, we used the uh, we learned the else thing that if every condition is false then we use the else we also learned one thing that cascading you know else and then if using if but you know another way of writing is it using else if conditions right and also we learned that uh, using boolean operators or that's pretty much it so we did uh, our if thing or condition thing so this is uh, this would be everything for our uh, video right now uh, thank you and if you like the tutorial uh, hit the like button uh, consider to subscribe our channel we are doing a pretty hard work right so thank you happy learning happy coding bye peace Thank you.